Now what about this second way of initializing a string? When we click next in our visualization, we get this. This looks a little bit like our labels attached to objects in Python. But notice this line down here. It says this is in read-only storage, not the heap. So it turns out there are two parts of memory, something called the stack and something called the heap. And Python Tutor is telling us that although I'm visualizing this for you as if this is on the heap, it's actually here, but in a special part of the stack that is read only. We will come back to this shortly. For now, let us understand that the meaning of this statement is actually two things. Firstly, initialize a contiguous chunk of memory at base address A, just like we did before. So in this case, we found a chunk of contiguous memory. We initialized all the characters in it appropriately. But then, separately, declare a variable of type car star. That is the syntax that you see over here. This is pointer to car. And a pointer is a special type of variable that is capable of holding an address. So a car is a special type of variable that is capable of holding a single letter. An int is a special type of variable that is capable of holding an integer in some fixed range in the C programming language. And similarly, a pointer is a special type of variable that is capable of holding an address. This particular pointer is a pointer to car, but all pointers are fundamentally addresses. So when I say I have a variable that is of type pointer, I know that variable is just something that is capable of holding an address. Now if I know it's a pointer to car, I know that the data that lives at that address is of type car. And that is what it means to follow one of these arrows. It turns out there are no little arrows living inside your computer. This arrow is a myth. It doesn't actually exist. All that lives at this location is a number. That number is the base address of this array. And rather than just simply showing you a number and having you connect it with this chunk of memory, Python Tutor is drawing this arrow to make it easy for your eye to follow. But please keep in mind, those arrows don't actually exist. This is just some address and that address is being stored over here. So this is what this type of string means. These are two ways in which you can initialize strings. They do have some important differences, which we will explore right now. Because it turns out one of these strings is mutable and the other is not. Do you remember in Python, every string is immutable? You might guess from the fact that this says this is in read-only storage, that this version initialized like this is immutable, and you're right. This version is actually mutable. Let's take a look at this code on Python Tutor. 